first, uh, uh, tell us a little bit about the country brand or national image that the South Africa would like to promote globally. The South African brand is under the auspices of the International Marketing Council, whose primary objective is to brand South Africa not only as an emerging and fast developing country with modern and uh, creative, modern, progressive forces within it. The main focus is, uh, is changing the generally negative perceptions that abound out there about South Africa and Africa in general. Why is this message particularly important at this point in time for South Africa? Mainly because of where we have come from, our emergence from the very difficult past, our growing economy. We grew from a, a negative in terms of GDP to about 5%. Now, that has been a very positive news for us. And there's something we want to share with the world, that the country is moving from the past into the future in the 21st century. We were waiting outside and uh, talking with some of the people you know, in line and waiting to get in. And uh, we asked them what your first impressions uh, are about South Africa. Of course, they uh, talk about diamonds, yeah, <laughs> they talk about yeah. you know, the, the safari, the animals, mm. and they talk about Nelson Mandela. And of course, they talk about the World Cup the soccer game. And uh, uh, we also see quite a few you know, uh, themes and the displays that's related to the, uh, the, the World Cup. Can you tell us a little bit more about the co-branding or the promotional alliance between the Expo and the uh, World Cup? The, the theme of our pavilion is Skinako, the modern economy, which is what South Africa is all about. That it's time for people to focus on the changes that South Africa has, is making. The, not only in the economy, but also in the social and the other strata. The different themes you have seen, those we call sub-themes, each month the South African pavilion has different themes. In May, for, for example, our main focus was on the FIFA World Cup to bring you know, to the fore the, the significance that the FIFA World Cup is making to the economic development of South Africa. If you look around our pavilion, you will see different communities, you will see groups, you will see cities where people gather, you will see stadiums where people will go and watch football matches, you will see the enhanced or developed new transport infrastructure which enables people to move from point A to point B and facilitates their movement from their houses to the stadiums. And all of that brought together for the World Cup is to say, it's going to be easy, people are going to find it exciting, tourism is going to get an opportunity to come to the fore in South Africa. But also, when you link all of that up with the Expo, it might look a little bit difficult because these are themes that run parallel. Better city, better life. And then you have the World Cup on the other side. The Expo couldn't have come at a better time for South Africa. Just before the World Cup kicks off, this gives us a platform to talk more about the World Cup and to showcase the infrastructure that's now available in South Africa and for people to see that it is possible for a lot of other companies, not only small ones and big ones, to do business with South Africa. We, we intend showing some of the games, especially the opening game, outside, we were installing a screen outside the pavilion to allow the crowds of people that are, might want to gather. The pavilion itself might not be able to accommodate all the crowds that might want to come and watch, but outside there's more space. So we will, we will relay a live broadcast from South Africa of the games. What are some of the challenges when you're trying to promote the Expo and uh, the FIFA uh, the, the, the World Cup together um, you know, as a co-branding platform? So the, 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 the challenges is that, like you said in the beginning, in your opening statement, that people tend to associate South Africa with the World Cup 
with wildlife. Uh, now, the messaging or the messages that we're trying to send sometimes get lost in, in what this is happening this month. And they tend to forget about the big picture, the, the other things that are available in South Africa, the other things that you can see, the other opportunities that exist in South Africa. So that's why we always come back to the, to the expo, or expo theme to focus on some of the key messages that South Africa wants to send out. But we are a modern economy, we are changing, we are a country that's in progress, and we are a country that's focused on getting better and creating a better life for all our people. We, we have Team South Africa, which, is, which comprises of a number of role players that, make, that try to speak in one voice, place in different parts of the world, in South Africa, in the USA, in the UK, in Europe, in China, and different parts of the world, India, and, and, and anyway in Asia. We all read from the same script because we all understand what brand South Africa stands for and what we need to communicate out there to those that do not understand what South Africa stands for and who South Africa represents as a country.